Alright guys, I opened the box already. I wasn't going to post the video. I was going to open this offline. I ordered so many boxes of this clear vision from the same person I pulled the Gary Payton out of, right? Short print inscription. Um, and there's only like so many boxes left on this per this company's group, whatever person's website. Uh, very good seller. I'm going to recommend them after I get the last two boxes if nobody else buys them before me. <laughs> so I want to shout them out. But check this out. I thought there's no way I'd get another autograph. First pack. So I was like, I'm not, like, uh, there's only two autographs per case. So I was like, there's no way I'm going to get another autograph. So I'll just open this up line. There's all these set fillers. There shouldn't be nothing special. First pack behind the Mason Gore There's a Dirk on the bottom, which was cool. We already have that. But I got an auto of Kevin Durant. Mason Gore So I was like, now I got to go ahead and record it. And, but I was not. That's going on. Uh, eBay. The only reason I told Weber my side that I, there's a McConnell rookie, but that I was gonna slow down, not buy any more cards, to save up for Christmas. But I put a card online for sale on eBay, asking 250 for it. I sold it for 165. It was that Seth Curry. Out of eight, which I probably undersold. Probably should have asked for more than the best offer. Uh, I need to put a thick one on that. I don't want to take no chances with my thick sleeves at it. But uh, there it is. Yeah, and according to Beckett, like there's like LeBron and Seth, I think are the only ones that's worth more than this, and the only one that's worth the same is uh, KP. And there's a little fold on the top, so that sucks. But that's still cool. The first KD auto. And I was like, there's no way. So this this should be quick, all set though, uh, ish. Three. Uh, there's a Darren Williams. I don't have that one. That's a cool card. Uh, uh, is it Chris Bosch out of 99? Rookie revision. That's not bad. I'll go in the back. I ain't gonna get a top loader. I had a whole bunch of numbered cards inside of a uh, Tim Duncan base. I think I needed that one. I got that Dwayne Wade. Got that. There's a better Gordon Hayward I could replace. There's a rookie revision base Dwayne Wade. That's cool. Don't need that one. I can replace the other one. It. There's a numbered card out of 149. I got that Paul Pierce. Daddy's young. Got that. Rudy Gay at a 149, right? Yeah. Not going the back. I got those. And the last one. But it was worth it. 30 something dollars for 120 according to Beckett card. I'll have to check eBay. See what it's worth it. That's the last one. Beckett card. card. Got a rookie. There's Seth, base, I got that one. That's nice. Yeah, Monte Ellis after Dallas. Kelly Rube Jr. and Brooke Lopez. Alright. So that's all of it. But when you got the KD auto. So that's pretty sweet. I'm gonna hold up. This one, so everyone thinks Brooke Lopez is the big, is what I assume is the big card. No, this, this idiot here, he thinks Brooke Lopez is a good card. I mean, it's somebody it might be. It's a set filler for me. So, but anyway, alright. Uh, I also use it to buy the, uh, the proceeds to buy my first football card ever. I sold two cards technically. Uh, one was more of a trade. But and I got two other boxes coming in, so alright guys, but
I'm probably going to end up selling a lot of these cards that I pulled. Just keep the ones that I PC. Since I'm doing all this uh, other stuff that I talked about with somebody, other people. But, alright guys, later.